And I, what, what are the sort of rents they're paying for these? You know, ten yeah, thirty-nine, thirty-nine dollars, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. You know, some eighty, some ninety. This is a week. No, this is a month. A month. In these streets, not even black people are really safe. Certainly no white man would walk on them unless accompanied by a black man. Here, the law of the concrete jungle applies. Here, muggings and bashings are an everyday happening, be you black or white. This is not unusual. And what really, no, it's not unusual. What really gets it's me, common. what really gets me, and I have a thing against uh, the sanitation department for one reason, and more energy. And this is because of the fact that when we had the when they had the sanitation strike, when they had a sanitation strike, it involved everybody. Not only involved Harlem, yeah. involved the people downtown there. See, and when we got in that backyard, then they're the one that started screaming. They talking about, well, you know, we have we having a, an epidemic, a health hazard thing, and they want to clean up, but. I've been trying to tell a man in certain, in certain many terms, this has been here for years. Nobody's, nobody's concerned about that. Why don't the people themselves do something about it? Social workers know that one of the conditions of poverty, of being deprived, is a total apathy. Apathy breeds apathy, filth breeds filth, and violence breeds violence. It's a treadmill that only those who are on the outside can stop, providing they have the will to help. 